Having been around a lot of businesses in my life, something I know to be true is that the vast majority, let's just put it that way, have not, the vast majority of business owners and entrepreneurs have not developed the skill set of planning for their business. So the furthest out I usually hear about goals and plans is a year. I happen to be recording this at the beginning of 2024. So of course, what are we working on? We're working on annual goals for 2024 and thinking about how we break those into quarters. What is the milestone or what are the results at the end of each quarter that we need to see to understand that we are clearly on the path to knock out or exceed our annual goal. Of course, that's what's most relevant right now. You may have a really successful, growing, and profitable business. And I know from experience, when I had a profitable and growing business, I felt like I had figured a whole lot of things out. And to be fair, I had. The products and services that we sold, I was pretty good at selling them and I was pretty good at training my team on how to sell those. And we kept growing very incrementally year over year, but I felt pretty much like I had a lot of things figured out. What I didn't understand until later is the opportunity gap between the success that I was experiencing and what was possible with the same amount of time and energy across our team. When I became aware of this gap of opportunity, I became really curious in a short amount of time, how can I make that happen, right? Anybody that's got an entrepreneur heart or mind or spirit is going to be curious about how to close in on that gap. If I could use the same amount of time, maybe even less of my time if I structure things well, but how can I use the same amount of time and energy to achieve this instead of this in the same amount of time? Wouldn't that be interesting to understand more about that? So what we, the way we approach business planning and action coach is we look at a five-year plan. Of course, we don't know exactly how the next five years is going to transpire in our business, right? Well, for that matter, we don't know how the next week is going to transpire either. However, if we're growing, what are we growing to become? So if you're, if you're happy with just the idea of growing the business, then you're going to receive by default whatever happens along the way as your result and your end, your end result, right? What I suggest is that so we've got a zillion businesses right now people that are in their late 50s, early 60s, late 60s of age that have grown a great business, but they never thought forward ahead enough on it to position it to be attractive to be sold or purchased by someone else or to make it attractive and desirable for their children to take it over or someone in their family to take it over. There are many businesses out there that don't have a plan for that. Part of the five-year, and you can even look further out, but we, we like the five-year number. Part of that five-year plan is to, is to create something by design in your business. In five years, in my mind's eye, the way I see it right now, I would like to have this and this and this be accomplished. I'd like us to be doing this level of revenue. I'd like to have this kind of an impact in our community. I would like the business's equity, the value of the business itself, to be a, a fill-in-the-blank multiple of bottom-line profit, or EBITDA. Uh, it's called in finance, right? Uh, I would like to employ this many team members and support that many households with, uh, with income for their household. You know, uh, another goal might be philanthropic. I'd like to be able to, to contribute financially and contribute our team's time uh, to these specific uh, entities 
in our area, which would help us to create a more community, more of a community impact and accomplish a whole lot more through this business. All of those kind of things will never happen, at least with any level of impact or depth of impact, unless we've planned it out. If those things are important to you, and I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume that they are, because the kind of people that are attracted to work with Action Coach and be a part of this awesome community are the people that are concerned about that in addition to just making a good living for themselves. So I want to make an assumption that that's you, that you are wired that way, you think that way. When I become successful, I'd like to close in on that next level of success, which we call Epic, Epic Version 1. Uh, when we are closing in on that Epic Version 1, what does that look like for a community impact? How does that position my business for the next five or 10 years after that? What is possible in this business? We have no clue how to guide that unless we've put a plan together. So very soon, and actually every two months, we facilitate a two-day workshop where you can map out every aspect of a five-year business plan. I highly encourage you, actually I've got one of the brochures here, I highly encourage you, if this is curious to you at all, at least learn about the workshop, okay? So there's a brochure that I can send you. We've got a PDF version. I can send you a hard copy if you'd prefer that. And what you'll find in here are a couple of couple of items. So there's a little bit about the workshop here, just kind of high level stuff. We've got front and back testimonials, just uh, in their own words, people that participated in this that are part of our community and what they had to say about it. Don't take my word for it, take their word for it, right? And then this document that's in here maps out exactly what we're going to be covering and the agenda for the two days. So it's totally clear what's going to happen, how we're going to work through. The five-year business plan happens on some proprietary software that we use, and it's really powerful. You'll actually work through some of this ahead. There's some pre-work, there's the two days of, and then there's some follow-up work. And the idea is that you're going to, in two days' time, you'll have 90 95% of this plan put together, and then we will follow up with you, hey, where is your plan and what gaps do we need to fill now that we've had some time to think about what we put together in the workshop? So I just wanted to paint the picture a little bit on what that looks like. It is so powerful. And you'll see that with the testimonials that are in the, in the folder there. But um, if you would like a copy of that, reach out and we will send you the PDF. Like I said, if you prefer a hard copy, we've got those as well. And consider for your business and your business's future and your the future of your family and your team, what a great self-investment to think through these things, actually map it out, actually build a business that's intentional and designed to a specific end. That can be re-navigated or the, the um, GPS coordinate be moved at some point along the way. That's part of the power of this is the software that we use, you're going to have access to that ongoing. So a year from now, two years from now, you'll be able to go back in the software. It's a, live, it's a living and breathing part of mapping out your business and what you're going to be doing. You'll be able to go back into that software make the necessary updates because, hey, we had planned on going here, but you know what? The market is really pulling us this direction and we like it. So we're actually going to go this direction and here's what that's going to look like over time. So the financial journey that the business is going to go on, the different departments or business units that the business is going to have, uh, the different products and services, what is the team going to look like, and what are all the strategies and there's thousands, what are all the strategies that we're going to choose that will be the most relevant to get us from here to there specifically? I encourage you to reach out and learn more about it at least, and I wish you the best year upcoming ever.